You have remarkably little here on early to winter history. All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio, trite propaganda. But if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. If I knew what you were looking for, I could help you. Ha! <laughs> you? I rather doubt that. Ah, <sighs> I apologize. That was unworthy. Did I see something by Genitivi here? I could have sworn. What is this about, Dorian? When everyone returned, they told us about your tumble into the Abyssal Rift. You went into the Fade. Physically went in. Are you... all right? Stroud is gone. The Fade is an ordeal under normal circumstances. To be the only real thing there, beyond description. That you made it out at all is a miracle. You do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights, in comparison. So, I should be happy I accomplished something so grand. Concerned, more like. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. That's a good idea. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This... this I don't need. What I do need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus's real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle biter with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. Anything interesting? A letter regarding a friend. I mentioned Alexis to you, didn't I? His son. I was trying to discover what became of him. Where he ended up. And? Nothing. Redcliffe is abandoned, and there's no trace of him. It's as if he never existed. I think the Venatori found out he was helping me. I think they killed him. Are you all right? He was ill, and thus on borrowed time anyhow. That doesn't mean you can't regret his death. I know. Felix used to sneak me treats from the kitchens when I was working late in his father's study. Don't get into trouble on my behalf, I tell him. I like trouble, he'd say. Tevinta could use more mages like him. Those who put the good of others above themselves. With the two of you... Felix and I? What an odd question. No, there was nothing between us. He was just a fine young man. Better than I. Maybe if the world were a better place, he'd be here instead of me. What was he doing in Redcliffe if he wasn't part of the Venatori? He was there with his father. In fact, Felix was the reason I knew where the Venatori were. He'd planned to help if you came to Redcliffe, I understand. He had so much more than I to lose by helping. He should be alive, not I. You make it sound like he was a better person than you. What a mad thing to say. Few people are better than I. Very well, a better person clearly not nearly as handsome. Thankfully, Felix wasn't the only decent sort kicking around Thedas. I could watch you roam Skyhold all day. Here and there you run, checking in on your followers. Why don't they come to you, feed you grapes, rub your shoulders? I suppose it's more fun For me, this way. I mean. You're rather strapping. Uh, thank you, I suppose. 
Thanking someone for a deserved compliment is always the correct choice. At any rate, you didn't pass by to hear me fawn. Something on your mind? You said Alexius was a mentor of yours. He was my patron, sponsoring me to the higher levels of the Circle of Magi. In return, my successes were his. I had a lot of successes, naturally. Alexius was most pleased. He and I used to talk over Brandy about the corruption. How we could one day make real change in the Imperium. And then he... gave up. He stopped trying. Why did he give up? On a journey to Hosburg, a Darkspawn raid killed his wife and sickened his son. I remember hearing the news. He hadn't been there, you see. Alexius was convinced he could have protected them. And the guilt tore him up. I helped him with his research for a while, and then we drifted apart. That must have been difficult. Back then, I was furious. I told him to snap out of it, move on. I thought I had all the answers. Later, I regretted my hasty words. But we didn't speak again until he approached me for the Venatori. Too much pride, I suppose. Plus, I was busy drinking. One must have priorities. I don't think that's it. You felt guilty because you couldn't help him. Clever you. I had a choice, you see. Wallow in self-pity or get away while I could. At any rate, he's dead now. More's the pity. I should go. Naturally. Questions, questions. <laughs>